Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kelpit, welcome back to another video. Today I am going to be reacting to the latest album by Young Gravy, Marvelous. I have waited so long to listen to this album. You guys know that I'm a really big fan of Young Gravy. I've seen him live twice and I'm a big fan of his. I've been listening to him since 2017 and I even have a video on my channel of making a tier list of every single one of his songs. And so today I'm going to be reacting to his new album Marvelous and then afterward I'm going to put all of the songs from the album onto the tier list. <laughs> so yeah, let's just get into listening to the album. It's 15 songs and about 40 minutes long. The first song is called Isn't It Just Marvelous with Baby No Money. Three. Two, one, go. Yeah, man. It's the girl in the chain. Call up the hussies. She got a phone on the call. Look up the hair. This guitar. What the heck? Oh my gosh. Just one fly. <laughs> Scooby Snackery. Alright, so that was the first song, Isn't It Just Marvelous? With Baby No Money. I don't have any idea what's going on and honestly that's a good thing i would expect nothing less so yeah that song was crazy the beat was so weird it was good though it was a lot different from other young gravy songs i wasn't a big fan of gasanova young gravy's previous album so so far with the first song this is off to a good start so the next song is called soiree three two one go <laughs> really? Maidenless? What the heck? <laughs> Step gravy. You know, in the beginning, I wasn't really feeling that song, but as it went, I it really did, really did win me over. He had unique flow from his other songs and that, and the lyrics were pretty good. So yeah, that was a good song. The next song is Mrs. Worldwide. Three, two, one, go. I need a bad bitch, stupid dick, beat them cheeks and do a fit, blow it back, make them sick, that's my little Florida bitch, fine how bad as shit, shorty like my favorite Flute? Not bad, not a bad song. I don't like it more than the other ones, but it wasn't bad. Pretty chill. I would like a bit more in the beat. Not too many complaints, just don't prefer it over the other two songs so far. He said the thing about getting his fans laid, and at the second concert I went to, I'm not sure if this was a thing at every concert on that tour, it very well might have been, but there was a thing where like he talked about how someone who's, who was going to that show later DM'd him earlier that day, saying, saying that like, his girlfriend broke up with him or something and that he was asking gravy to like hook him up with some 
elves or something. And then he showed like the video of the, that the guy sent him on the screen at the concert. And then we, we saw the guy up on the balcony and he was with some other ladies. So I don't know. I don't know if that was a thing at all the concerts or if, or if that actually happened. But that <laughs> that's what that line reminded me of. So the next song is Sugar Mama with Ishtar. Three, two, one, go. I dig this. I like this beat. This is groovy. Oh man, this beat goes crazy. That song was an absolute bop. That was so good. The beat was so cool. Uh, let me see who produced that. Probably Dwilly. Dwilly and Medicine. With whom I'm not familiar. But man, that beat was crazy. Really funky. Yeah, I think the best part of the song was the chorus. Like, the verses were pretty good too, but the chorus was really so catchy. Oh my gosh. I like that song a lot. The next song is Bussin'. So, three, two, one, go. Y2K, huh? Oh man, this is interesting. Nice callback. Is that a Justice League reference, Mr. Gravy? Gravy with the harmonies, what the heck? This beat is crazy. You know, I, I like that song a lot too. Y2K. I mean, you know it can't be too bad if Y2K is on the beat, but that was pretty good. The next song is Betty. I have, of course, heard this song because <laughs> it's been absolutely everywhere, which is awesome. Like, I'm really happy for him. Yeah, songs on the radio? That's crazy. I heard this song live at the second show I went to uh, at the time. I believe it was called Thick Astley. So yeah, we're going to listen to this song anyway because I like it a lot. What is Disco Weapon? Because I genuinely don't know. But yeah, great song. Has that classic gravy charm that I feel like I was missing a lot in Gasanova. The next song is Smells Like Money. Three, two, one, go. Did he sample s salt and pepper? Accoutrements. No way did he say Italy ho she boppity boopin. Alright, again, that wasn't one of my favorites. The salt and pepper sample was kind of cool. Uh, he had some good bars. And overall, it was pretty good, but. Not one of my favorites so far. Next song is Where They At. Three, two, one, go. This is different. This is the first song I've ever heard 
the word COVID. This is really different for him. It's not bad though. That was pretty unique for him. And I don't hate it. The beat was good too. The next song is Dancing in the Rain. Three, two, one, go. I like this beat. Gravy Silver both though. I like that callback to the boys are back in town. Dressing. That was pretty good. Yeah, I like the beat a lot. I also really liked the references to other songs like The Boys Are Back in Town, um, Cheryl, which is my favorite Young Gravy song, and Benny Hanna by Baby No Money. I mean, I like that song. That was good. Alright, the next song is Steakhouse. Three, two, one, go. That bass is dirty. Oh, this flow is good. Oh, yeah. Huh? Oh, I thought there would be a drop there. <sighs> Beak, you start me off. Alright. That song was also pretty good. He had really good flow in the second verse. Not a lot to say about it. The beat was interesting. Not one of my favorites, but I still like it. The next song is Say La Vie with Baby No Money and Rich Brian. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> oh, this bee is so cool. All right, Rich Brian. <laughs> what is that hype? Oh. What is this flow, Gravy? Baby train. <laughs> this beat goes so hard too. Oh my gosh. That song was so good. That's one of my favorites for sure. That honestly kind of felt like, um, kind of had the vibe of a Baby No Money song, if that makes any sense. I'm not sure. But yeah, I like that song a lot. Man, that was very good. The next song is Run Me My Money. Three, two, one, go. So, usually with most music, I care more about I care more about the, like the flow than the actual words. So, starting off, this song wasn't I wasn't really feeling, but then later on, after really reading the lyrics, it's really interesting. Like basically, he's talking about when he met this woman, he didn't know that she had money, and then. He didn't know she had money, but then after he found out about her wealth, he w his view of her had changed, and he was like trying to get stuff from her. That's actually really a really interesting thing to write a song about, especially for him, because <laughs> he doesn't usually write music about anything in particular. 
So that's really cool. Next song, and the next three songs I've heard before, and I actually have reactions to. The next song right here is Stepping on the Beat with Trippy the Kid. So yeah, let's let's get into it. Three, two, one. All right, yeah. So I like that song. If you want to know more about what I have to say about it, then, then you can watch my video where I actually react to just that song. So, so I have a more in-depth reaction of that song, you know. The next song is Hot Tub with T-Pain and Dylan Francis. So three, two, one. Can't drown in a hot tub. We're in a thought tub. <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right, again, I like that song, but check out the video where I react to the music video for my more in-depth thoughts. And finally, the last song is "Skiing in Japan Freestyle." Again, I've heard this song. I heard it on Gravy Train Down Memory Lane side A. So let's get into it. Skiing in Japan Freestyle Free. So yeah, I again like that song a lot. I honestly don't think it was a great song to end the album on. I think it might have been better to end it on something a bit more hype. But regardless, the song I do like, if you want my more in-depth thoughts, then you can watch the video for Gravy Train Down Memory Lane Side A. It's literally the first song on that EP, so you don't have to watch the whole thing. <laughs> but yeah, overall, this album was really good i'm really happy with it since i didn't like gasanova very much all the beats were pretty good oh most of the songs had really good lyrics and my favorite songs were probably say la vie betty of course and sugar mama so i updated my album rating system because i figured i needed to and also i'm posting my music reviews on to rate your music now so that you can check out the link to my, to my rate your music in the description. But yeah, so overall, I would probably give this a four out of five stars. Yeah, four stars out of five. Yeah, so now it's just time to put the songs into the tier list. So if you haven't seen my video making the tier list, I would recommend it because one, it's a very good video. And two, it's kind of confusing to look at. <laughs> Um, so in order to keep it as confusing to look at as possible, I have decided to continue to not label what songs are there. The first song on the album was Isn't It Just Marvelous, and I think that that song is an A. I feel comfortable putting it about in the middle of A. The second song was Soiree, another song that I liked a lot, it was also an A. Um, a little bit lower, I'll put it right there. Again, I don't know what songs these are, but you should watch the video to find out because I would have to watch the video to find out also. I know I know what songs are in Goaded, I don't know exactly what's under everything else. Except for the only song in D is the Daddy Aoli interlude. So the third song was Mrs. Worldwide, which I didn't love. Um, I'll, I gave that one a B. Um, I'll put it about there. The song after that was Sugar Mama, which I liked a lot. I'm putting that song as S tier. I am comfortable putting it above. I remember the only Gasanova song in S tier was Martha Stewart. So it's better than Martha Stewart, I think. Yeah, I'll put it right under Pillow Fight because I know that that's Pillow Fight. The next song was Bussin', which I liked a lot also. I'm putting that one A tier. I'll put it about right there. I think that is, that A tier is 
Oops. So I'm comfortable putting that above Oops. The next song is Betty Get Money. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that one in Goaded because that's that's a Goaded song. It's, it feels like a classic gravy song. The songs that are in Goaded, by the way, in order are Cheryl, Forget Me Thoughts, Continental Breakfast, Suavecito, Flex Season, Karen Part 2, Young Gravity, Aliyu, and now Betty is the newest member of the Goaded Club. The song after Betty was Smells Like Money, which honestly, probably my least favorite one on the album. I gave that one a C. I'll put that in the middle. The next song was Where They At. I gave that song a B. No, I'll put it pretty high because actually I liked that song a fair amount. So I'll put that right there. The song after that was Dancing in the Rain. And I gave that song an A because I like that song a fair bit. I'm comfortable putting that there. The next song was Steakhouse. I gave that song a B. Put that a bit toward the lower end of B. The song after that was C'est La Vie, which I gave that song an S because that is a very good song. Close to the top of S probably. I'll put that right after Clock because I think that's what that is right here. The song after that is Run Me My Money. I gave that one a B. I'll put it closer to the top of B also because I liked the I liked the writing. And now the only song of the last three that is not on my tier list is Hot Tub because I didn't put it on the tier list because at the time it was on like a collab EP with Dylan Francis. The, the other song, Stepping on the Beat, I believe is in A tier. Yep, that's it right there. And then Skiing in Japan is in S tier right there under the gravy train down memory lane art. And so Hot Tub I liked a lot. So I'm also going to put that, you know what, I'm going to put that on top of A. So there you go. That's the updated Young Gravy tier list and that's my review of the album. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed please leave a like and subscribe and ring the bell. Follow me on Twitch and join my Discord server. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.